Hey guys, it's John, and today we'll, uh, I'll be continuing my redstone tutorial series thing, and this one's a little bit more advanced, I guess. Um, basically today we're going to be building a memory location, and two different ways of making a combination lock. And, but we won't, I won't make a tutorial for a combination lock yet, but that'll probably be the next redstone tutorial. So, first thing we're going to build is a, a memory location thing. So, first of all, I'm going to look at the properties of a door linked with a, a what's it called? A pressure plate, a stone pressure plate. So, when we stand on the stone pressure plate, it gives redstone power and opens the door. That's actually open, but it looks... It looks like it's closed. Hang on, I'll change it. So we give it power and it opens the door. And it only stays on while we're while we're standing on it. But if we were to build a memory location, what will happen is that it will stay like that until we press press another pressure plate. So it's gonna look like this. Put redstone each side like that, and link another pressure plate on this side. So now you'll see that this uh, side's got power and the torch is off, and this side's not got power and the torch is on. If we're to stand on this side, this side has got power and the torch is off, and this side does not have power and the torch is on. So if we were to link a door to each side, like this. Then we were to stand in this. That one, that door would open because it's got power, and that door would still be closed, and it would stay like that until we press the other pressure plate. And then the same thing would happen. This door would open until we press the other pressure plate, and this door is still closed. And it's, it would take me a while to explain like why it works, so I'll just I'll just leave it like that. Uh, the next thing we're going to build are those things there. They're uh, they're very commonly used when making like very complicated redstone things. So we're going to start off with two switches like this and redstone. And this is the first one I'll be building. Pretty sure it looks like that. I can't really remember. I don't really build these sort of things very much. I think that's what it looks like. Let's just check over here, make sure I'm doing it right. Yes, it is, yeah. Bring this one along here. Lag. Yes, got the door. This one works by... I think it's the... Hang on, I've changed... I've... Oh wait, I forgot the redstone torch here, sorry. There we go. So that's it, finished. This one works, uh... Basically, when both tor uh, both the switches are on, the door is open. Now, if I if I was to turn one of them off like that, the door would close. But if I was to turn to turn the other one off, it would open again. Now, if I was to turn this one on again, it would close and turn that one on again. It's uh, open again. So basically, whenever both switches are the same then the door will be open, and when they're different, the door will be closed. This could be used for something like a combination lock, uh, which could be useful, very, well, fairly, fairly useful for, uh, like, something on multiplayer, like a secret room or something, something like that. I don't, don't really know. But the next one we're going to make is pretty much the same, but it's the opposite. It works the opposite way. So basically, what's going to happen is when both 
things are different. Um, when both things are different, uh, it's going to be open, and when they're the same, it's going to be closed. Hopefully, if we do it correctly, anyway. I'll just keep checking over here, and just make sure I'm doing it right. Yeah, I think. Yeah. Right. Rest on there, and rest on loading along here. And put it over down. So it should be when they're different, it opens, and when they're same, it closes. Different, open, same, closes. So they have the same sort of properties, but they work in the opposite way. And we might be using these for the combination lock, or we might not. Uh, it could we could, or we don't. We, but we don't have to. There's other ways of doing this. So the next redstone tutorial will be the combination lock. Probably, I'm not guaranteeing that, but it should be. But uh, that's the memory location, and these things have a name. I can't remember what the name is, but they def definitely have a name. But this is a memory location. You stand on one, and it saves. Stand on another one, and it saves again. And these are just for various things. So, well this could be used in so many different ways. This could be really helpful for a lot of things, but yeah. So, hopefully I'll find out what I could do with this. And I'll have a tutorial for that up reasonably soon. And I'm sorry I haven't posted anything in a while. I've just been kind of busy with life stuff, <laughs> I guess. So. Yeah, I will try and upload as much as I can, and yeah, so I'll see you later.